Hello, friends. Um, I promised you guys that I would give you updates on Sammy, the uh, the boy with special needs, uh, nonverbal autistic boy um, who got assaulted on a bus a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, uh, some video footage has been released now, so I was going to share it with everybody. And I have a lot of people always asking me about the harness because every morning we put a harness on JJ and I get a lot of people asking like, what is that, you know? Um, what it is, it's, it's a harness you put on uh, a child who can be, um, you know, can get a little rowdy on a bus, might stand up while the bus is moving or try to fight with the bus driver and assistant. Um, and JJ has, you know, that's, he's done these things. So um, it's in his IEP to always wear this harness, you know, just in case. I mean, he's a lot better now, but there are definitely some days when he's getting on the bus where he's standing on the seat and, you know, being overly silly or whatever. So they just need to make sure the kids are strapped into the bus so that they don't just get up while the bus driver's driving and, you know, um, hurt somebody, you know, so it's protection for the bus driver and for the students as well. So that's what Sammy was wearing, this harness. So I'm going to go ahead and play this video and um, see what you guys think. 12 News has obtained new video that shows the moment that a Peoria nonverbal student with autism is punched in the face by the grandfather of another special needs student on board the school bus. Team 12's Adriana Loya spoke with the family of the injured student, and she brings us this 12 News exclusive. We do want to warn you, some of the images are hard to watch. You're gonna break the window, man, I'm gonna bust you. April 26, 8.45 in the morning. Sammy Alfred, a nonverbal student with autism, was having a meltdown on his way to his Peoria school. The bus driver trying to calm him down when at the next stop. Do it again, boy! Do it again! I got it. I got it. I got it. The grandfather of another special needs student boards the bus yelling. I, I got it. I got it. Okay. The bus driver repeatedly tells the man he can handle it, but the man persists. The man is not currently facing charges, according to the county attorney's office, so we are not naming him at this time. But a police report in this surveillance video shows him fully boarding the bus, raising his voice, and apparently agitating Sammy Moore, who was strapped to his seat. Sammy pushes the man, then the driver. Three seconds later, the 69-year-old man hits him in the face. Sammy's parents watching the video in disbelief. He can't fight for himself. He was restrained. So, you know, it just, yeah, it just, it's heartbreaking, to be honest. It's just really heartbreaking. Sammy's mother says her son hasn't been the same ever since. You okay? Refusing to ride the school bus in the morning. That's not how you address someone with special needs. There's no doubt there was an escalation. You want to get smacked in the head, boy? The driver and the aide, who was also on board during the incident, discussed that after the fact. I told him I knew it. I don't know why the guy insisted. You know what? He should have gotten off the bus and then she closed the door. I Sammy's parents want policy change, including better training to work with special needs students to care and respect them, and limiting who boards a school bus. I, nah. I love you too. And for Sammy, his teacher will begin riding the bus with him in the mornings. All you can do is hold him and comfort him and reassure him that he's okay and that we love him. Adriana Loya, 12 News. The Peoria School District says it's working with the family and those involved, including the bus driver, who they say was badly hurt by the incident and has not returned to work since it happened. So this is pretty, pretty awful stuff, right? I mean, to see that video, well, you know, I mean, if you saw the whole thing without, you know, I mean, it's, it's probably worse. They, they kind of cut his, probably his, his uh, agonizing scream after he got punched out. Thank goodness. But still, you you feel it. You you feel it in your heart. It was horrible. It was horrible. Um, but I, I can I can tell you for sure that the the family is fighting. They're his voice. They're doing everything that they can to to make sure that he gets justice. That that guy that punched him um, 
gets punished in some way. I mean, he, he needs to be punished. I mean, if he was a real man, he would, I feel like he would come out and say, man, I did it. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened, you know, but he's, I don't know. We don't know what's going on. He could be really sorry at this point, but I mean, there's no excuse for that, you know, for just getting on a bus and punching a innocent kid like that. Oh, man. You're strapped down. I mean, the kid couldn't even, you know, fight for himself. All he could do is kick the guy back with his legs because that's the only thing that was free. So he tried, and it's just not not a good situation. It was really terrible. Um, the bus driver, after the fact, was, yeah, like he should not let the guy on. I guess in the middle of well, things are going on, you're just not thinking straight. But, you know, I think there's going to be a lot of training for bus drivers. This is going to lead to training that will, you know, lead to, you know, better understanding and how to help an autistic child when they're, you know, getting escalated or having a meltdown or outburst or whatever. Um, so I think that's a good thing. Um, but I feel bad. My heart goes out to the family and to Sammy. And, you know, God bless them. I uh, hope they get justice. And, uh, you know, please share this video with as many people as you can to get Sammy's voice out there. And maybe enough people get in on this thing. The city of Peoria will listen. Whoever's involved, police departments, whatever, will listen and uh, book this guy. You know, he needs, he can't go... He has to be punished for this. You just cannot let a guy go free. It's going to send a real bad message, right? It's like, oh, so anybody can jump on a bus and punch a kid out with no consequence, right? That's not, not the way it should work. So he needs to be punished and respect to those with special needs. And uh, I guess that's all I have to say. Tell me what you guys think. What do you think? Um... Yeah, I'd love to hear what you say. Leave comments, and you guys have a wonderful day, wonderful night, wonderful afternoon, wherever you are in the world. God bless you. Thank you all so much. Ah, love you guys.